morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm as here. I have the middle forks. Hey there. Um. Whew. Ah, uh, let me see. What's up, Mr. Maker? Granddad's trail dust. Sole! Paul! Bill Corey. Paul Orchard. Robert Whitney. How do, how do. <laughs> and hello, Eric. Hello, hello. And to all the lurkers out there. What up? Adam! <laughs> Mick Chu. Here for a short while. Heard. Me too. <laughs> Chaz, how do, how do? <laughs> it's the real Yamas. What? what? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> thought we'd be in a bowling alley. <laughs> now, uh, I've got a couple bowls I want to do. Um, because I uh, finished up the uh, Damascus bowl that I've been working on in live streams randomly throughout the past year. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool in person. You know, it's hard to get a good shot of it, but it's really cool. Uh, yep. Smoosh that like button. Uh, I'm sure Roy's out there somewhere. <laughs> uh, what's up, Shane? Uh, so I'm going to be doing some uh, bowls. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, oak leaf bowls and some round ones that are probably going to chisel in a little design, or I'm going to attempt to chisel in a like a geometric design thing, and uh, and yeah, and and go for that. Um, but yeah, I got the fire nice and toasty, and. Uh, I think we might as well just get started. <laughs> it does look good in the Facebook photos. But I'd like to get a nice, you know, a nice sunshine picture of it. You know, so uh, I, I will admit I almost lost track of time today. Uh, I just scrambled and finished setting up. And, uh, yeah, exactly, Cormula, it's about time. <laughs> uh yeah sorry i try i try to finish things that i say i'm fit working on but eh, uh, <laughs> i'm bad i'm horrible but yeah camera switch <laughs> yeah so uh I've got a couple of uh, oak leaves and a couple of rounds left over from the jellyfish days. And I figure I will uh, knock some of them out. Have a bit of fun with it. And uh, yeah. No, I'm going to need that. No, I'm going to need this. Yeah, and this will uh, set up sort of a design. Uh, I know that we need a line down the middle. Woo! Draw a straight line, freehand. Carry it. And then a couple of lines going up the leaves or, or nodes or lobes, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah. Simple. These are simple. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to chisel those, chisel that in. What's up, Robert? I'm going to chisel that in and be good with it. First, though, I can do it later. I'm going to say first, though, I was going to do something about the, uh, 
the stem, I like to round that off. But I can do that. Get the fire hot. <laughs> I've had it on idle for a few minutes. It's silly of me to put a plate in there and then turn it on and it doesn't get hot. What up, what up, what up? See, Robert Lonis and, and uh, Sully are taking advantage of the uh, specialty uh, uh, member emojis. <laughs> You know what? Just because these are these are Roy cutouts, I may sprinkle some flux on them, just for the uh, the shingles of it. Oh, what's that? A twenty dollars super chat from Ryan Sullivan. Borch with Yamez saved saved island button up tees from extinction, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. I'm wearing safety sandals. <laughs> I was going to throw a watch down on this morning's episode of Impractical Blacksmithing to see how we did, but I forgot you'd be on during my drive, right? Uh, Robert, no, but you know what? Not a bad idea for me to grab a piece and uh, whack on it today. I do that. I, I've just been so dang busy. I just don't know what I want to do with it just yet. I don't know what I want to do with it just yet. Let me get one bowl done and then I'll switch over. Yeah, three with granddads. It's like butter. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do a quick, uh, a quick wrought iron bottle opener. You know, with it. Thank you very, very much for the super chat there, Ryan. Super appreciated. And no kill today. No particular reason, just no kill today.
doing a, a nice line down the middle. Oh, and then switch. Rod is so scarce down here, I only use it in special occasions. Right, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I, I want to save the rod that I have for, you know, something special, but, yeah. Yeah, everybody give it up for uh, Sully today in church this morning. Rocking it out. So an excellent use of uh, sound editing. <laughs> if you didn't catch it, go back and watch it. It was a nice one. Watch the replay, right on, right on. <laughs> Trial by fire. Turning at least some of what I have into a hammer. You talking about rot there, Eric? Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thing is, Sully, you're 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 a natural on camera. You know, it's like you have that. You know, you have the personality. You have the, you know, the chops for that. Just getting getting that, understanding the ins and outs of OBS. To be able to on the fly quickly do do the uh, you know if an error comes up or a problem comes up or something like that you know and and nothing came up today but yeah today went very well. But I also may be biased. I could do a live stream where I just don't say anything and sit there staring lovingly into the camera for two and a half hours. Maybe an occasional wink or, you know, an eyebrow raise. And I'd be like, this is, you know, art at the, its pinnacle pinnacle of uh, cinematic experience. <laughs> What'd you watch? The yeah, man staring at me? How was it? Good. <laughs> it was like, 
Alan Metal Forge, what's he doing on YouTube? Well, he sits in a bathtub and stares at you. You know. Really? Did people watch it? Oh, yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll start a, uh, another YouTube channel called Staring Contest, and I'll just sit there and do live streams where I stare at people. <laughs> just that's it. Just just stare at people. <laughs> I have not watched Midwest from Dirty Talk. Pretty much after the stream, I came out here and started doing stuff. I don't have any proof of that, but I did. <laughs> yeah. Midwestern Dirty Talk. That's right. Shovel the driveway. Oh, yeah. Now to get it nice and toasty. Hey, Wayne. Wayne Heights. When did you become a member? Did I miss that or did I just not realize it? I thought, I, I didn't know you were a member too. Thank you. Oh, you became a, okay, never mind. <laughs> I feel like a jerk now. Howdy, 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 howdy. So weird seeing green names. <laughs> Talking about Wisconsin is weird to me. I don't know why. I don't know why. The Bubba Club is growing. The Bub Bub Club is growing.
Now, the cool thing that Roy doesn't tell you in the blurb uh, when you buy these from his uh, uh, website is they're actually made out of real leaves that have been turned into steel and flattened. <laughs> I might do something like that, Bubba Club t-shirts, or at least design them so they're available. <laughs> I'll be honest, I do enjoy doing, you know, designing shirts. What's up, Matt? <laughs> I'm sure I'll be here. Trying to fold these uh the all the ends of the leaves out, the lobes, just to see what it'll look like. I've only ever done the tip. Just the tip. In a puppet, I could really easily do it with that. She said. <laughs> hey, Ken. Give it a little bit of a different look so that it's not identical. I mean, it's pretty close, but oh well.
kind of gives it a three-point hold right there. And if I drop that down even more, kind of like it. Didn't lose the tongs, no drink. <laughs> Just tweaking these lobes to act as like little legs for when it sets. And that's kind of good right there. Kind of neat. I'll do something with the, uh, well, kind of like an incense burner, I think. Hold an incense stick with the stem. I'm having trouble with my right foot. Went up to the VA hospital for it. Oof! Man. Wasps are coming in in droves. It's a carpenter bee. Whoa. Burning steel. Just something. All right. I think getting through that here. <laughs> Pretty nice. I'm kind of excited. I want to try the wrought iron. All right. Work the end of that a little bit. And find me a uh, something to hold it with. I know, I know, suggest tongs, but yeah. <laughs> about it in a bit. 
come over here and forging wasps. <laughs> I just, they're all over the place. <laughs> now, if, if, if I get stung, I'm stopping the stream. I got to, you know, get that taken care of. I'm, a, I'm allergic. Karate catch flies out the air with chopstick. Blacksmiths hit wasps out of the air with a hammer. <laughs> the skeeter torch don't do nothing for the wasps in this area. Heck, the skeeter torches barely do nothing for the skeeters around here. Grasshopper snatch it. <laughs> Trouble is, is the wasps have nests around here. We just had a cold spell a bit ago. Um, you know, below below 60s. And that drove them all, you know, down a bit. Uh, but up in my roll doors, all, all three of my roll doors have wasp nests in them. Um, the, some of the electrical boxes up here have wasp nests. Some of the pipes that are up in there have wasp nests. You know, like there's wasp nests in this garage, you know, and out just outside of it. So they, they're just all over the place. Well, there's paper wasps, carpenter bees, and uh, mud daubers around here. And then the, these black-faced, I think they're called bearded wasps or be bearded hornets. And they're they're mean, but uh, the mud daubers look sinister, like ugh, sinister. Uh, but they eat spiders and other wasps, you know. So, hey, what's up, Paul? Mud daubers are pretty harmless, but they're they're annoying. Now, a huntsman in the shop would mean I I shut the doors, tape it off. And uh, uh, fumigate it for about two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Huntsman's can be friendly all they want, but I'm arachnophobic, and I'm getting better. <laughs> huh. 
Yep, let's burn it down and start over. I am mostly harmless, Ken. <laughs> I know with wrought iron, you've got to get it nice and hot to work it. Hmm. Yeah, I started this scale on the tea this morning. Hey, Drew. It's all good. I'll take a moment and show my bowl again. As good as I can get the, you know what? No, yeah, there we go. Fun. Damascus Bowl. Oh, no. Oh, no. Almost like a sand dollar. <laughs> Now to play. I'm not wearing the shoes for this. <laughs> Tell you what, I get warm.
does move like butter. Or just snack. <laughs> You know what? Maybe I will process this, process this into a bar. I'm gonna move this camera though. I'm gonna do it on a power hammer. going to go ahead and plop this. Probably way wrong, but oh well. <laughs> and, uh, I will say this: my uh, all my tools work truck for that, so I'm gonna have to use a adjustable wrench. I can show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> Yep. I'll give it a good little oiling. Grease up the shaft. <laughs> where this can has a leak. Fortunate, that wasn't cheap.
All righty. Hey, Jeff, Steve. Pop it and lock it. <laughs> Shifting spanner. <laughs> yeah. This bit right now. For the power. Yeah. Get a nice fit. And I'm going to draw this down to like a roughly three quarter. Um, roughly three quarter round. And see how that goes. This kind of thing belongs on OnlyFans. That is a hot fire. You gotta work, you gotta work, uh, this stuff really hot. So. <laughs> All y'all worry me.
Yeah. <laughs> Some fun stuff that moves nicely. <laughs> that power hammer is the noise canceling type. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robert, with how, how nicely it moves. Oh, yeah, that stuff moves like butter. This might be a good length to do a coiled snake out of wrought iron and then sit it in vinegar to let it etch and, and, and etch and etch and etch and be like a wood metal, you know, wood grain uh, uh, snake. Wait, coiled, did I say coiled spider? Coiled snake. I don't know what I said. I'd have to rewind it. <laughs> Oops. Spin it around and grip it from the other side. But yeah, just a, a couple heats. And uh, I've gotten half of it already. Wow. <laughs> hey, Xavier, I'm just messing around right now.
Uh, Oswan, good morning. Yeah, right now I'm making a, uh, taking a, a chunk of raw and turf, you know, um, processing it into a, uh, what are we calling it? Uh, be about three quarter or half inch round stock to do a wrought iron snake eventually, uh, eventually. I just need to find my tongs. Get back up here. Folder part heat up. So give me a moment. And another swig of tea. Rock forge. <laughs> Hey, Bottega. Yeah, you're here in time. I was showing off my uh, Damascus bowl earlier. Y'all are going to have to rewind. And uh, right now, if you want to take a moment and rewind, go right ahead. Uh, it was about 20 minutes ago. I, I did a real nice close-up on the bowl. You can uh, rewind it, and then when you're done looking at it, you can click live and come back. And, uh, yeah, uh, I won't be doing much very interesting right now uh, until this heats up. <laughs> found a 600-pound power hammer near me that's being auctioned off. Highest bid is up. Get it. Get it. Holy cow. I mean, that's... Get it, buy it, own it, worry about how you're going to get it home later. <laughs> Holy cow. Six hundred pounds. Mine's only sixty five pounds. Worry about all that later, Xavier. You buy it, hundred bucks, buy it, and then you know go to go to the store and get you know a couple of wheels or like four wheels and some steel, you know, and then you know grab a welder and 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 uh, you know uh, uh, a couple of axles or whatever, and then like put it together on it, and then you know tie it to the back of your truck or car or whatever, and just drag it home. <laughs> that, yeah, exactly. Them's details you can you can uh, worry about later. <laughs> I can go for some bacon right now.
Let's talk to the power. And then uh, hire a, uh, a moving company for another couple hundred bucks to haul it to your place. And then put, plop it in your yard and then build, build a building around it. <laughs> you'd still save money. A 600 pound power hammer? Wait. When you say a 600 pound power hammer, do you mean its total weight is 600 pounds or its hammer is 600 pounds? Because my power hammer is a 65 pound power hammer, but it probably weighs 1,200 pounds. So, depending on what you mean by 600 pounds, I mean, still, 100 bucks for a power hammer, go for it. Exactly. Exactly, Speargrass. For a for hundred dollars, does it really matter?
waiting for something. Too late. The protector plate already fell off. Fell off. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Riker KG model KB1. I'm copying that. Oh, oh, look, guys. That's it. I'll I'll buy it. <laughs> oh, 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 Xavier. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 <laughs> I kind of sunk the handle. Yeah. Hundred dollars. <laughs> wow, I'm jealous. Wow. Two-hour drive, man. Whatever, Xavier. <laughs> now you're just making excuses. <laughs> exactly. 20 bucks is 20 bucks for that. Yeah, you could buy that, clean it up a bit if you if it's not in good condition, 
clean it up a bit, and flip it and sell it and make huge profit. Huge profit. Oh, yeah, we need a concrete floor. For those just joining or who just arrived on location and uh, haven't seen, you know, what we're talking about, um, Xavier found one of these at auction for $100. I don't know what to say other than why is it still at auction? <laughs> yeah. Just updated to 200. Still a good deal, Xavier. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm sure. I'm so sure it'll add zeros.
<laughs> I'd, I'd carry it on my back if I got it for a hundred bucks. Stop by the post office and get uh, that package there, Trail Dust. I appreciate it. It's still in my truck. <laughs> and you're right, that is a unique, those are unique pieces. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with those. Yeah, Xavier, if it was a matter, I don't have I didn't have space in here, and I was able to get it here and pay for it, I'd put it in the yard, throw a tarp over it, throw some bricks around it, and store it. Yeah. I hear you, Cormulus. <laughs> Trouble is, you know, and I, and, and I just thought of this, Kermulis, you're I, I always think of mailing something out as going to the post office. The stuff I got to mail to you, I could literally put it in an envelope, and I keep forgetting that. Um, but the post office around me opens after I've left for work and closes before I get off of work. So, ugh. You know, it's weird, Robert, this, uh, the heat travels up this faster than, you know, normal steel as far as I can tell. It, it's getting pretty dang hot. Definitely an instance. If you guys remember us talking several times about uh, um, 
propane versus coal. This is an instance where propane would come in handy for me because I put a long length in. Like the power hammer is like. I do love rounding stuff out on this power hammer, man. It's it's smooth. It's quick. Adios, Adam. Big hug. Lord and Burnham from the 18s, 1800s. So the snake I'll call Burnham. Or Burningham. <laughs> Britain Hammer! How do? How do, how do, how do? I'm Britain Hammer. Hello, friends. <laughs> no, I'll just play it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's new? Finally finished that Damascus Bowl I've been working on. I'm not going to do the whole refocus thing. Uh, about, uh, ooh. Nearly 45 minutes ago in the stream, 
Uh, I, I showed a close-up of it. <laughs> yep no roy from christ centered ironworks this evening i'm sure he's busy 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 This, this etches with a real nice wood grain. Was going for snake heads? <laughs> I got skunked today, unfortunately, missed a few. Ooh. Well, a bad day fishing is better than a good day working. I've never eaten snakehead. Probably, Drew. Although I threw mothballs everywhere, and that'll prove, that should prevent them from uh, making this their hangout. It don't repel them, and if they're if they're you know inclined to come in they will but they won't stay
You know, it's been so long since I've had freshwater fish. I typically only eat ocean fish. You know. I mean, I've had trout. I've had catfish. I like catfish. Um, but, you know, give me some flounder. Give me some mahi. Hogfish. Ha, 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 ha. thought about seafood and stuff. Okay. So, dolphin and whale and manatee and other sea mammals. I wonder if they're like... It's mammals, so it's not fish. You know? So I wonder if they're more like, you know, red meat or more like pork. Just curious. You know? on the anvil would be choice, would be the right idea, like putting the final taper on the end. I will say this, I'm probably going to have to coil this using a torch or the set up the propane. Hey, stress. Um, Xavier, I have, and, and everybody, I have been heartburn free for a couple months now. Like, and y'all know me, I, I get serious, crazy acid reflux. Um, I've been doing, uh, uh, taking, uh, Omeprosomerol, I can't remember the name of it, uh, and magnesium, a uh, little purple pill. Uh, every morning I've been taking, uh, well, you're not supposed to take it continuously, but I do, like, every other morning, I take one, and no heartburn. No heartburn. Heartburn free. Completely. Completely. It didn't smell like anything, Wayne, but the, the wind was probably, you know, a factor.
Yeah. Yeah, but Nexium, but the uh, uh, store brand. <laughs> Prilosex, whatever those are. The 24-hour... But yeah, pretty much, I could eat mayonnaise and it'd give me heartburn. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I fear the day they make those, you know, that shouldn't be legal, being without heartburn. <laughs> now, see, I was I was going through probably um, two bottles of Gavison or Gavison or whatever it is a week. And that's expensive, you know. I always was always, you know, popping tongues or Rolades or Gavison or whatever. God damn, it is insane, Robert. How how that heat travels up that so fast. I mean, I am literally just heating right here. All of this was cold, and I just burned myself right here. This far back. This far back. I burned myself. It is insane how this, the heat travels up. Like, it's concerning.
Platz. Yeah, it's, it's it's wrought iron, and and for some reason it's it's like moving the heat like copper. It's weird, you know. It's it's really bizarre. I'm I'm actually preparing a snake. I'm uh. I'm just preparing the the body of it. I'll I'll, I'll uh, figure out the head and everything next week. It's named Birmingham. Torch that gives me a nice length to work with. So it's already getting warm. I cooled this off last heat and it's already getting warm. But that gives me a nice length to work with. And I'll, I'll uh, use a torch or set up my propane forge and run it through it. And clean up all the the transition hammer marks from the different heats, and uh, you know, give it a nice good cleaning. Then I'll figure out. I left a, a little lump here for the head. I'll figure that out. Nope, noodles. Danger noodles or nope ropes. <laughs> But, and then what I'm going to do with that one is I'm going to, I'm going to coil that one, I think, you know, and have it be a nice coiled snake. No, Thomas, you can't mistake an icicle for a snake.
Am I going to Garden Veggies this year? No. Um, Xavier, I don't know if I should answer that. Because the answer is probably too many. I don't want to get yelled at. I can, if, I, if I'm in the summer, I can go through a gallon a day. Yeah. <clears throat> and stress, the reason I, I'm not, gar no, I don't, Britain Hammer, I don't. Uh, I, I hate yard work. I have a black thumb. I, I, any, I've tried raising some, like, potted palms for, you know, pre preparation in the yard, and... I'll, I'll follow instructions, and they die. And I, I tried doing a couple cactus assists, and they died. And I tried doing one of them, like, windowsill bamboo things. It died. I can't keep a plant alive to, to save my life. So, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing my girls are still alive. But I love on them as much as I can. All right. Ingredients. Filtered water, pure cane sugar, Fresh brewed tea. Three ingredients. I don't make my own. I buy it from the store. It's three dollars a jug. And I loves it. <laughs> exactly, Daniel. They're not plants. Uh. But yeah, this I, I, I'm very picky when it comes to my tea. About the only processed tea I can stomach is the Arizona sweet tea. And that's because that is done with brewed tea. Uh, the powdered tea... Like from brisk, ugh, 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 um, you know, Seven Eleven tea, ugh, ugh, it's got to be cane sugar, you know. White sugar's okay, but that's processed sugar. Cane sugar's pretty dang good, um. Uh. Yeah, and it keeps me hydrated. They go to any Dollar General. Any Dollar General has Milo's. <laughs> Where's that when you need them? Milo's sweet tea. And if you like it with lemon, they sell it with lemon too. But, you know, what's wrong with you? What's up, Ben? Ah. Uh. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have a can of Arizona right here. Premium brewed blend of black teas using filtered water. Now, it does have high fructose corn syrup, you know, and citric acid for uh, uh, preservation, to preserve it. But this tea, like milk, has an expiration date. But I never reach that expiration date because I drink it in a day. <laughs> But, yeah. So with that, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and call that a successful day. I didn't, I didn't do the bowls like I wanted, so I'm going to ed edit the title of this to um, Rot. Snake 
part one. <laughs> I like Arnold, Arnold Arnold Palmer's. I like him all right, but it's it's just it's not. It's good for an occasional drink. Yeah, Ben, you got here late. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna switch over to Good Night Fire. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next week. And I appreciate y'all coming by. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I appreciate, you know, my members. I appreciate, you know, the uh, channel support from Super Chats. Y'all are freaking awesome. Y'all are freaking awesome. And good luck, good luck, Xavier, on the bidding for the 600-pound uh, power hammer. Good night, fire. Good night, coal. Good night, embers. Good night, glow. Good night, hammer. Good night, tongs in the rack and on my floor. Good night, steel. From yellow to black. Anvil is quiet. Still is the tweer. Good night, blacksmiths. Everywhere. Stressmaster with a three dollar super chat for tea. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. Who's gonna blow out the uh, blow out the fire? Psst, psst. Oh, 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 who got it? <laughs> Eric got it. Eric got it. <laughs> You guys are all awesome. Appreciate all of you. All right. Catch you later. <laughs>